as my love for beautiful tropical house plant grows, so does my interest for these sun-loving little pricks that we <laughs> are about to see. We are at Desert Creations, not dessert, here in Northridge, California. We're gonna check out all their exotic cacti, some succulents. Let's check out what they have. I am very new at the cactus and euphorbia game, okay? You will have to bear with me. I will not know that much information about them. So we're gonna learn together because again, this is new territory for me. I'm really excited to learn a little bit more about this, um, but yeah. Okay, here we are at the very, very first greenhouse. There's two, so this is the first one right over here. There is also another one right out there, but I did want to start with this room because I wanted to show you Oh my goodness! Okay, I know you have seen this before. Dioscoria elephantipes. Look at this. Look at that. That's amazing. It does remind me of kind of like a turtle shell. I do love that the leaves are just so light, so delicate, so cute. And there is a bunch more. This one is going to be a little bit of high-end price here at this location. If you are gonna come out to any exotic cacti or tropical plants, you've got to expect to be paying some coin out here in these streets. So that's just a quick little disclaimer. So let's go back. Take a look at this. Look how cute the leaves are. I love how delicate they are. I love that they're heart-shaped and they've got those little stems kind of like just waving in the wind right there. But I am loving this one. If you do want a little teeny one, one it is $25 but it is so small but it will grow in a few years into something like that right so you just have to have a little bit of patience <laughs> so I have to show you another cute Dioscoria here oh my goodness look how beautiful this is trailing like I just want this trailing over my door right wouldn't that be so cute look at this and now we're going to move on over to the rest of the place. It looks like a bunch of euphorbias right here. $45, $25. Really not sure which ones these are, but these are really, really cool. And look uh, right up there. And look, there's a Hoya. And let's look right on over here. So we're barely in the first greenhouse. Again, there's another one that I do want to show you. Oh, I actually want to show you this right here. What? You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of... Um, I'm really thirsty right now, so that reminds me of... <laughs> coconut when you get fresh coconut in the supermarket and then you get you know someone to punch a hole and put a straw in it but don't use straws right now okay the turtles so take a look at that that's really cool that one is a pyranacantha mavlifolia i am thinking this will probably have really cool leaves actually we can see one right up here look at that see those leaves are super cool I love that these codex plants grow such cool, delicate little leaves, right? Because it's kind of like, I, I don't know what to expect if I just see a codex itself. You don't really know, unless you're super familiar with them, what their leaves will look like. We've got another one right here, Fermania colorata, or look at these leaves right here. Isn't that adorable? Now I do want to take you right onto the other side with some of the things that I do kind of know. So let's go over there. So I have to come and show you this selection of Astrophytum hybrids right here. I actually have a really teeny one of this. This one is really, really cool. I'm loving the ones that have just a unique shape and really cool markings on them. I love how this one has like dots on the leaves, little spikies. And I've mentioned this before that those actually look like this, it's not, okay? But it does look like mealybug nests, but it's not. Here's another mellow cactus, Conodius, right here. And oh my goodness, this one is amazing. So this is a large Astrophytum hybrid. I love that they've got it in this beautiful pot right here. If I were to actually have my own collection of euphorbias, cacti, I would definitely put it in really interesting pots like this, right? Look at this. So amazing. We've got a lot more of them right here. Also, I actually have to show you a penis cactus, aka Trichocereus bridgesi montroge. Say, okay, penis cactus. This one is, um, I don't think I really need to explain exactly why it's called a penis cactus. Sorry if you have children present, earmuffs, please. That's why it's called that. 
Okay, I almost forgot to show you this one right here. This, I'm gonna, again, try to pronounce it for you. The Well, Wellwitzia Mirabilis, 30 years old, and just take a look at it. I mean, it's, it's super interesting. This has to be either high up there, and it's probably thousands and thousands of dollars here, but I do know that people love this right here. Now just take a look. I've seen pictures online of how this looks like when it gets large, and it's, it's pretty amazing, pretty crazy how this looks. <laughs> but take a look at it. I'm still very new at this stuff. I don't really understand why. I mean, it honestly looks like a big agave leaf that just is like meh, <laughs> right? But I do see inside that there's a little bit of like a woodiness in there, 30 years old, and I don't have the price for this one, but I'm pretty sure that this one right over here is pretty pricey. Take a look at that. Isn't that crazy? Now we're gonna go in through the second greenhouse. A lot of Hoyas right up there. Crimson Princess, Crimson Queen, Hoya Bovada. So the usual suspects over here in this little Hoya section. But we are here to take a look at the Euphorbias, some of the cacti. Look at this second greenhouse. This is actually much larger than the first one that we were at. And I think we are gonna go ahead and start right over here. Take a look at that. Look at the beautiful little, kind of looks like little beads. This is also known known as the basketball euphorbia or basketball <laughs> plant, I think. I have a really teeny one of this. I want a big one. I want a huge one, like an eight inch pot. I love how it has little lines, little markings. They've actually mentioned that some of these are male and some of these are female and you can combine them <laughs> or something. We'll ask more questions about that. And there's some really small ones right there for $15 and it goes up to $30. And obviously four um, bigger ones would be a lot more. I don't think this has a price tag. I recruited Josh to come help me because I am so clueless <laughs> with all of this stuff. And he knows a lot more since he does work here. So say hi to Josh if you come in. So these are pretty cool. A lot of people who grow cactus and succulents don't really know about caudiciforms. Caudiciform is like these big kind of like fat stubby trunks. Yeah. They will leaf out. Pretty exciting when it happens because you know, they're, they look dead and sometimes they do <laughs> die during winter. And when we see this new growth, we're like, Oh yeah, it's alive. Yay! Are you saying that some of these, you're not sure if it's dead or alive? Yeah, this one's looking a little dead here. So the thing with these is they're oh. very sensitive to watering during the winter okay. when they don't have their leaves. So if you oh. look here, this one is going to <gasps> be going in the dumpster. So R.I.P. It, take, it takes a kind of some skill and knowledge to grow these. So I just asked Josh if he had a favorite plant in the store. If you have a favorite caudiciform or it's in there? Yeah. Okay, let's go. This is probably our most photographed and looked at plant. I mean, I've heard it's famous on Reddit. It's definitely it's really famous on, Reddit? on Instagram. Wow. And yeah. This is, and this is $5,000. That's about $5,000. <laughs> okay. Look at this. And how old do you think this is? This thing's got to be like 50 years old. 50? No way. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, if you look at our other ones down there, yeah, those are probably those are 10 cute. years old and yeah, they're about the that big. Yeah, the teeny ones, so I know. They get more of these like kind of turtle, they're, they're yeah, yeah, like yeah. turtle plants, them, but yeah, these little ridges will just kind of pop out the older right. kids. And that's really what people are look for in these plants. Yeah, this one has black spikes. Super yeah, cool. The black spikes are yeah. really bad. Just a different variation on them. Oh, so it's similar as this guy. They're all tephro cactus. Tephro cactus, okay. 250 for this one with the babies. And they're very <laughs> slow growing. You get like one new head per year, so. What? Yeah. Wow. If you're lucky. So this one right over here is $500. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful this is. This is huge. And I think that's the flower right on top. Cephalium. Yes, yeah, cephalium. Okay. And it's $500. It is $500. They're <laughs> extremely rare and old. Oh, uh, really? It's from Brazil. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Nice, okay, cephalium. And, yeah, at a certain point that cephal the cactus stops growing and only the cephalium will just Oh, that's cool. As he mentioned, that cephalium right up there. So sometimes this plant will die and then that one will continue on to live. Really cool, really fuzzy. So $500 for this, it is extremely rare. Oh my goodness, okay, so I think I found one that I want. This one is called the Ubel, Uebel Mania Pets. Pectifera, oh my goodness. Take a look at this. 
it's really gorgeous the the cactus itself looks really sparkly really velvety and sparkly and then the spikes are a white gold this is 50 dollars Uebel mania i'm not even saying it right like it just looks like a perfect symmetry and look at that and speaking of the higher end, here again we've got more of the tephro cactus as our friend Josh mentioned. This is a very very slow grower. You get one of these little pups, maybe one per year. So this one is 125 here. They even look a little bit purple. We've got some more back there. These are extremely hard to find. Just take a look at them. And there's also, doo -doo -doo -doo, I have to show you because this is a favorite, more booby cactus right here, $55. Really cute. So pretty standard price for all these booby cactus. And I love that it's turning pink also right on top. So if you want any pink booby cactus, it's right here. Oh my goodness. And here's a little teeny spiralis. How cute. Look at this. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, and I think the blooms are just so adorable. I think this is actually gonna be a start of a series that I'm gonna do in learning a little bit more about cactus and euphorbia since they are super interesting. And yes, I do admit that I can definitely use a little bit more info. If you missed any other plant videos, any plant shopping ones, collections, I'm gonna go ahead and link that somewhere here on the screen or somewhere below. Give me a like and subscribe if you have not already. Why? Why are you not subscribed? being <laughs> and I will see you in the next video I appreciate you so much bye